There was a 75th uh, birthday party activity at the at Juilliard, and uh, Ron played that solo. And um, you had so many false endings. <laughs> Not false. I'm trying to find the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of keep the story going. Uh, well, uh, I, I, does anyone have a, a quick question? Because we have to be out of here in three minutes. Uh, the stage manager is. is, is so tough. You have a question? Go ahead. Um, uh, if there was one bass player uh, who you could say influenced you beyond other bass players, uh, do you have one? Do you have? Do you have a no. favorite? No. Uh, you know, when I was coming along, bass players were not my focus of interest. And then what caught my eye was J.J. Uh, Johnson trombone player, who seemed to me able to play all these notes he played within a small range of the instrument, small physical range of the instrument. And Cecil Payne, who's a very saxophone player, who came along with Leo Parker and Jerry Mulligan, Sir Charloff, Cecil Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. He came along with these other five major baritone saxophone players, who was able to use the same horn they were playing and find his own sound. So we have a good example of these musicians, one who plays a, a very common horn, baritone saxophone, who's found his own sound, using the same sound horns they play, and J.J. Johnson, who has such a command of the instrument, it allows him to play trombone using this physical range. So it seemed to me, is it possible that I can have the skill level of a trombone player to make the bass not need to be played like this all night, this year. And the pop uses the same bass that, 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 that Sam Jones is using, and Ruba Ware, and Ruba Ludwell. It's possible to get my own sound out of the same physical process as he's playing. So those are my primary influences about trying to play this instrument. Is that why maybe you don't use the upper ranges? Okay, here. Is that why maybe you don't go into the upper ranges? As much as other bass players might do. They're hearing that. I'm sorry. They're hearing that. I might say to them, how come you don't play on a low bass string more often? I, I don't get to that kind of mindset. That's what they do. I think the question is, is the statement was, is that why I don't play up high all night, basically? Or uh, uh, is that kind of too short a statement? Because it's interesting to hear this kind of my answer. But I was saying to him, that my influences were people who were not bass players. And what interested me was J.J. Johnson's skill level and Cecil Payne's personal sound. Okay. So his comment was, so is that why I don't play a pound of bass all night, basically? No, sorry, I, I thought you meant the... Uh, the... You were talking about the range, I misinterpreted it. Yeah, I'm talking about the range. I'm talking about not just the range, not only the range of where the notes are located. I'd much rather spend my night doing this and doing this, the other guys do it, and that's what they do. And this is not a, a comment, a drug statement, or any of those players who like that style. That's not my sound of the instrument. I like being able to play a low note and have it last for this long. Yeah. That interests me. Uh, and because I don't play high all night, I don't want you to have the impression that I don't do it, because I can't do it. I don't do it, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I've got another sound in my ear, and my job is to kind of make this sound that I'm happy with on Monday, I want to be happy with it on Tuesday, and on Wednesday, and on Thursday, you know? 
And I hope that me sending you out for the response doesn't make you feel embarrassed and you won't see me outside and try to give me an inhaler ice cream cone or something like that because I'm, I'm too old for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs>